Hey guys, here we are in video two of lesson four, module three. And um, we are on page 33 in your learn book. We have a word problem here. Scott spent three fourths of his money on comic books, three fourths of his money. He spent $9 on comic books. How much money did Scott have before he bought the comic books? All right, so this is a little bit of a different kind of a problem because we don't know how much money he had to begin with. We know how much he spent in a fraction and in the numbers. So let's make ourselves a tape diagram. Please make sure you're copying everything down in your book for notes. Okay, so this tape diagram is going to represent all of Scott's money, right? So we don't know how much it is, but this is Scott's money before he got the comic book. And we can, um, we want to break this partition, this um, tape diagram into sections. How many sections should we make it into? I'm thinking about four. Do you see the four here? Four parts, right? There we go. Three lines makes four parts. We don't know how much money. This is what we are wondering question mark, how much money, but we do know something, right? We do know that three fourths of the money is what he spent, right? Three fourths of it. And we also know that three units, three units equal nine dollars right make sure you're writing that down three i just put u for units three units one two three equals nine dollars hmm do we have enough information to find out the value of one unit one unit since there's three of them right then one of them would be nine divided by three and nine divided by three is three right so each of these is a three okay because nine dollars divided by three oh right now can we find out how much money he had before he bought the comic books if this is a three and this is a three, and this is a three, then this also has to be a three, right? And we can multiply three times four, which makes 12. So now we know that he had $12 before he bought the comic books, right? Um, what is an equation that matches this story? Three fourths times 12. equals nine, right? Mm. But our unknown factor is 12 because this is what we didn't know ahead of time, right? Three fourths times something equals nine. Awesome, okay. Let's look at problem number two. If you don't have all this written down, please pause me and do that now. Okay, let's go to problem number two. There we go. Hmm, Tyler drew the angle shown. Kayla draws a measure with an angle that is eight fifths the measure of Tyler's angle. What is the measure of Kayla's angle? Hmm, this is interesting. Let's look at some important information. Kayla drew an angle that is eight fifths. Are you noticing? that eight is bigger than five, that this is gonna be more than one, eight fifths, the measure of Tyler's angle. This is Tyler's angle. 
and we can see from the picture that it is 60 degrees. Okay, so 8 fifths. of 60, right? 8 fifths of 60. That is the same as 8 times 60 fifths. Okay, that's how they wrote it in the book. If you need an intermediate step there to help you understand, remember that we can do 8 times one fifth times 60. So then we can do 60 times one fifth. That's how we get the 60 fifths times eight. Okay. So now we have 80 times 60 fifths. Hmm. What is 60 divided by five? 60 divided by five is 12. Okay, you can use your multiplication tables for that. You don't really need to write it out because this is a 12 fact, right? Okay, so now, oh, sorry, why did I write divide there? I must have been talking about division. Sorry about that. So now we have 8 times 12 is going to be our answer, right? Because our 60 divided by 5 is 12. So we have 8 times 12, and that is 96. All right. So the measure of Kayla's angle is 96 degrees. Make sure that you're writing sentences for your words problems. It's a little harder for me. I wish I could just type it, but I can't. Kayla's angle is 96 degrees. And double check that it makes sense. Eight fifths right? Five fifths would be 60 because that would be one. So more than that, 96 degrees. Nice job. Okay. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your hard work. Aloha.